You guys made a real mess. I don't think anybody's here. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. But all right. Now, have a seat. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. TJ, are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. The boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Eh? Huh? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Looks to be in a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. On the poker? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Oh, for, it's a fire eye in this hole, you ponderous wanker. We're not playing ten little Indians here. It's a simple accident. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I'm not bullshitting you. 
honest. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Scared Junior off to death. You were the, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album, yet? Yeah? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? It was odd enough to scale the bloody wall. I have to have you acting like it's a crime. What do you mean? Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Bigby? Hello? Anybody home? It's a spot of dust. I'll clean it later. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. You stay here to accuse me of heaven knows, and for what, Bigby? You've seen the whole room. Nothing's happened. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. I keep telling you, this is just a misunderstanding. A, a series of accidental mishaps. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? Please, just take it easy. She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Do you know what he was looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Well, I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is.
Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Fucking hell, of course there is. If my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. Big B. I guess we'll think about it. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody Trip Trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. So, split a cab? Not because of what Toad said. Our only lead, really. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. You look tired. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Right, we've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Bigby.
I... Um, just be careful, please. At least... try. What do you want, Sheriff? Oh, well, I guess I'm not worthy of a response. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Glad you came in for that. in this place. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. You want a lime? Because I think they got some at the bar down the street. <laughs> yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. Paper towels in the you big bad wolf <laughs> well I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff what kind of fucking world is that huh there's not much to explain it's no big secret I needed money I'd walk past her place for weeks she didn't look like it but she had money I was sure of it 
Guess you wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I can growl too. Chance. Don't worry about me. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named...
That's not necessary. He's the one you want, not me!